No, Jack, let me just say that the program last week still stands out in my mind. Combining the Jewish and Christians in the Old Testament, the story was all there, and he used a term, Judeo-Christian Millennial Kingdom. I never heard him say that before, but it's pretty important, isn't it? I, I wish that he would elaborate just a little bit more on that and bring that over into this program too, Jim. Oh, Rexella, God just popped that in my head here this last week. The Bible teaches that after the rapture, the greatest revival in history is going to take place in Israel among the Jewish people. And Joel 2.28 and Acts 2.17 both say, God speaking, I will pour out my Holy Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. But it's going to be a ma manner of many of the Jews coming to Christ. And where is that great revival predicted? In Revelation chapter 7, verses 4 to 8. And he mentions the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Now the Jehovah's Witnesses say they are the 12 uh, tribes and 144,000. And the British Israelites say it's only the English-speaking people who constitute that number wrong. Here are the names of the 12 tribes. Revelation 7, I say it again, verses 4 to 8. Judah, Reuben, Gad, Aser, Naphtali, Manasseh, Simeon, Levi, Issachar, Zebulun, Joseph, and Benjamin. That doesn't sound like Sir Winston Churchill to me, does it to you? These are Jews. What happens? As the Holy Spirit is poured out, already mentioned, verse 9 says, I saw a multitude which no man could number, and they came out of the great tribulation, verse 14, washed in the blood of the Lamb. And these 144,000 flaming Jewish new converts go around the world preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Matthew 24, 14. We preach the gospel of grace because we are part of the church. Israel was not part of the church. Saved Jewish believers in our day are part of the church, but the Jews from before the church starting on Pentecost are in that final group. And when the Lord Jesus comes back, he does something wonderful for those Jews and the ones who were saved during the tribulation hour. He allows them to live and reign with his Christians uh, for all time, a thousand years first and then forever and forever. And that's why Revelation 11:15 says, the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our God in his Christ, and we and he shall reign forever and forever. And that's because the Jews are raised in Daniel 12, 2, and also in Revelation 20, verse 4. And so there we are together, the great Judea Christian millennial group for all eternity. The government will come forth out of Jerusalem through Jews and Christians.